Coach, once again, thanks for joining us in studio. Congrats on the win. First career win, first win of the season for the Cardinals, and first time in program history that UIW has beaten SFA. How did you guys get it done? Uh, kids executed. You know, we harped on uh, them doing their job each and every play, um, really focused in on the little things and, and not hurting ourselves. You know, in the last two games, I thought we played well at times, but then there was a bunch of times where it wasn't the other team doing something wrong, it was us hurting ourselves. So I um, thought we executed as a high level um, on our team. And so happy to see it, happy for our kids. Hopefully there's a lot of first uh, this year for us. Last week when we talked, you said consistency was going to be key in getting this win. What did your team do to make that happen? Yeah, first of all, you know, the defense played phenomenal. I thought uh, Coach Deason did an excellent job at getting them ready to come out. You know, they they had a couple tough games where they'd given up a lot of yards, and uh, they, they recovered nicely and came out and shut them out the whole entire game. So for them to to only allow them to score seven points and, and only have three yards per rush was, was really important. Then offensively, you know, we kind of picked up where we left off and uh, Raekwon Dickens is doing a phenomenal job at, at running the football. We'll keep feeding them until someone stops him. Yeah, you mentioned Raekwon Dickens. He's become more, one of the more reliable players for you guys, racking up 220 yards last week, a career high for him. What's really led to his breakout season so far? Yeah, just a combination of our, of our team executing at a high level together. So our offensive line, first and foremost, is blocking really well for him up front. And then um, the most impressive thing is how, how hard our receivers are blocking down the field. You'll see, you know, a couple of these runs should only be 15 to 20 yard gains and, and our receivers pick up key blocks down the field and it springs him for for a 60 and 70 yards game. So uh, it, it's a team effort, a uh, great team sport, and uh, the offensive line of receivers are blocking well for him. Coach, by this week, what does your need, or what does your team need to do or need to achieve during the break? Yeah, we just need to regroup and reset. Um, you know, we can't allow that win to carry into next week. I mean, we're going to face a really good team in, in ACU next week. And so uh, we got to get a week better this week during a bye week, which is sometimes hard off a win. So um, we've been on hard on them this week. Make sure we get get a week better. and then. Um, but we do get an extra week of preparation for ACU. So as long as we can uh, stay healthy, and uh, and use this uh, use this week appropriately. I think we'll have an upper hand having a week to prepare. How are practices structured differently leading into the bye week? Yeah, you know we we take a little bit off of them. Uh, you know, took the pads off, let them uh, heal some injuries early on the week, and then we're revving it back up right now. So. Hopefully uh, we can give them the day off tomorrow on a Friday and then Saturday we'll get them up early and, and let them hit each other just like we had a game and then we'll get back into a game week. So, um, you know, I, I think that this week's been a big preparation week mentally um, and then next week we've got to get back on it physically. Yeah, a week off, but then you're hitting the road, heading to take on ACU. What are going to be the keys to keeping that momentum up to getting the win in Abilene? Yeah, same thing as last week. I mean, there's no secret. Just executing at a high level. Um, we got to have 11 guys doing their job each and every play and, and eliminate mistakes. You know, that was the big glaring thing from, from this past week in a victory is we had a lot more or a lot less mental errors. And so uh, got to continue to do that and protect the football uh, on the offensive side and take it away on defense. So we've been winning the turnover battle, uh, which is key and, and will be key going forward. Coach, thank you so much, and good luck. I know you have a bye week, but good luck the following week. We'll talk to you next Thursday. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.